Hello and welcome. Uh, we've been asked the question of how to add raindrops to a GT Sports game. So this is how you do it. First thing you need to do is go to Arcade. You want to pick a custom race. And then you need to find a track with rain listed. Now I know Spa definitely has rain. As you can see you've got rain in the morning, rain at lunch and rain in the evening. So, pick a race, pick a time, pick a car, any car, set it up however you want. I recommend if you're just doing it for escape, bang it on one lap, you can take it down to two cars if you really want to. You know, or depending on your on what kind of picture if you want, if you want multiple cars in the shop, then by all means have more cars in the shop. Do the race, and at the end of the race, remember to save your replay. Once you've saved your replay, done your race, saved your replay, come out, go into your library, go to uh, replays, and that will be your last replay. So upload your replay. Now this is the only way I have found to be able to add raindrops to, to the car. If anybody else knows of another way, please by all means drop a comment, let us know. We would love to share the information with all the other GT Sport fans. And while you're here on the channel, why not check out some of our other content. We are an eSports organisation, Stush Gaming. We have a website, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. YouTube, we have streamers on Twitch, Mixer, and here on YouTube, we have people everywhere. And if you haven't checked out Fruit Labs, go and check out Fruit Labs too, because I think this video is going to end up on there as well. As you can see, the replay is going along now, so I'm just going to hit pause here, race photos. Now, I always use walk mode purely because it means I can position the car wherever I want. Let's see if we can see these raindrops. Yes, yeah, so there we go. There's the raindrops and the spray. Now, depending on what type of shot you want, you can do these pre-selected camera shots, which you probably already know, or you can do the walk around mode. Which, as I said, I prefer but I'm not quite happy with where we are, so I'm going to go back. Hit play. Now hit pause here. Walk around mode. Come on, go down. Down, 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 down. So position the camera. Should have turned the lights off. So I think I'm going to stick the camera here because when we go into the scapes, you can set it up. So we get the mist and the rain. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Then obviously, add your effects. Don't want film grain, what am I looking for? Let's have a look at the preset. A simple partial colour picture. Let's try another one. On a mask and a filter. Yeah, they're all, all pretty pants. I quite liked the, that, yeah. Let me just go with that then. 
Uh, I might focus. Yeah. Background blur in. And twist it. Shoot it. Job done. Now, obviously, if you've got heavier rain, it'd be much better. But uh, I don't think there is a choice for heavy rain. I think it is literally rain or no rain. So, oh, we got too much motion blur going on there. So, camera mode, fix camera. Focus there, shoot. Slow rendering, I wonder if we're going to get it because of the speed of the car. Hmm, not really. Shutter speed. Let's try that. Come on. If you have any other questions on GT Sport, feel free to get in touch with us. Let us know and we will do our best. There you go. So just remember to adjust the shutter speed of the camera to make sure you get those raindrops. So I've adjusted the shutter speed right up to, uh, to the right to uh, get the quickest shutter speed possible. I changed the panning mode from a moving camera to a fixed camera. And now I should be able to get that picture too. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been a very informative video for you. Feel free to drop us a like, drop us a comment, subscribe. Yeah, you can see the raindrops. Excellent. Yeah, I'll give it a save. Thank you for joining us. Join us again soon.